Should you pigtail or through wire your electrical outlets? In this video, I'll share my thoughts on the subject and also show you a great time-saving trick for whichever method you decide to use. So if you're not an electrician, let me show you what I'm talking about. A through wire connection like this one uses a device to connect the downstream load. For example, your current comes in on this black wire, so you're depending on this terminal connection, this little tab here which connects this side to this side, and then this terminal connection which feeds your downstream load. So these two connections and this little tab are what's going to carry the current for anything downstream on this circuit. And of course the same holds true for the neutral side as well. Now there's only one terminal screw for the ground, so the ground wires will be pigtailed no matter which method you use. On this pigtail circuit, we're using wire connectors to connect the incoming circuit to the downstream load with tails that come out and connect to the device. So in this case, the device does not carry any downstream load. Believe it or not, this is a highly debated subject among electricians. Now you have group one that says always pigtail, there's no exceptions. And group two will say, no, you never pigtail, you don't need to do that. Now I should note that both methods are NFPA 70 code compliant. So unless your local code is different, it really comes down to you or the engineer to make the decision on which way you decide to go. So what are some of the arguments? Group one will tell you that you should never depend on the device to carry the downstream load. But did you know that the pass-through current rating is 20 amps, even on 15 amp receptacles like this one? So the receptacles are actually designed to carry the circuit load. This is why the code allows you to put 15 amp receptacles on a 20 amp circuit. Look for that video up next. <clears throat> they also say that pigtails make things much easier to troubleshoot because a failure would be isolated to just the one device. Now, this is true, but wouldn't a wire connector also be a possible failure point that would affect the rest of the circuit? Now, group two says no, it adds more wire to the box, adds a possible failure point, and it's, it's just more work. Now, these are all really good arguments, but isn't there still a time when pigtails are the best or only option? So who's right? Well, in my opinion, it depends on the application. I think there are four applications where pigtails are the best option. Now, if you're someone who uses the backstab quick connects on your devices, which I don't recommend, I would say always pigtail because additional load can cause these to fail over time. When you have more than two cables entering the box, contractor grade receptacles only have two connection points without using the backstabs, while commercial grade actually have four. But I believe having more than two cables connected to the device is not a best practice. And I'll always pigtail in this application. If you're working on an existing installation where the wires in the box are just too short. Many older homes will have short wires which will need to be extended in order to make a safe connection to a new device. In this case, pigtails may be the best or only option. If you have a GFCI or an AFCI receptacle, that won't be protecting the downstream load. In other words, if you're not going to hook the downstream wires on the load side of that receptacle, then you'd have no other option but the pigtail in this situation. Now there are also multi-wire branch circuits which require a pigtail, but there's a lot of other requirements around that as well, so I'm gonna save that for another video. So that's just my opinion. But hey John, I thought you promised us a time-saving electrical rough-in tip. Well, I'll show you that right now. So whether I'm going a through wire or pigtail, I always like to leave one cable long, about 12 inches, while the other one is about six inches long. The reason for this is I'll have this extra wire so that I can run my continuous ground to the device. But also, if I'm going to pigtail, I can cut my hot and neutral tails out of this as well. So I'll just strip this out and fold it into the box. And then when it comes time to make up the device, I'll have all the wire that I need right here waiting for me. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. And if you want to learn more electrical tips and tricks, check out these videos next. Thanks for watching.